In my experience, that is exactly what has happened over the last 30 years. I think that women have been instrumental in changing the way the game is played. And what I spoke about earlier, that we have really redefined how we uh, perceive of excellence in leadership. I think that that has been in part because women have brought a broader perspective. I have not seen that many women who have achieved extraordinary things who said, well, I just looked at it and I decided I was going to play by the rules and just do everything the way the guys are doing it. I haven't seen that much, at least in the last 20 years. You'd hear that somewhat in the 90s and it was probably, you know, there weren't many alternatives, but I haven't seen that. I And I think that particularly today, when what organizations are looking for are people who have great human skills, who are effective communicators with people across levels, when organizations are looking for people who are capable of motivating employees who have a significant knowledge base so that they can most effectively harness that knowledge base. And I think when organizations are really especially looking for people who uh, can increase the capacity for creativity and organ- and uh, innovation within the organization, I think that you really get few points by just saying, okay, I see this is a club and I'm going to play by the rules. No, I think women have been instrumental in beginning to change how organizations function and operate in the world because they haven't gone along with that. So, so that's, uh, I think that's something that's been happening for some time.